just came back a week ago, I had the privilege of winning the Canadian Math Professor of the Year Award from the Canadian Math Society. And as I just shared a plenary talk in front of 200 people, one of the stories that many people wanted to know is, tell me about your university. Tell me about why your interdisciplinary liberal arts and sciences university makes a difference compared to the traditional degree producing factories schools such as the one I went to as an undergraduate. Almost every single university in North America starts with a calculus course, with the idea that the goal of a mathematics education is to develop technical skills to memorize rules and formulas and reproduce them to pass exams. What we do here at this university is start with a foundation math course, a broad understanding of what it means to think mathematically, what it means to do mathematics through extremely challenging problems, both pure and applied. And what we're finding is that students are able to take this course, see mathematics as what it, what it truly is, as a way to sharpen problem solving skills and develop those communication skills rather than reproducing technical skills. A few years ago, I met a student who decided for her question how to optimize transportation in cities. I had no background in urban infrastructure, urban planning. I wasn't sure where to start. But I was so inspired by this student's vision to want to make a difference in her hometown of Vancouver through understanding this issue of improving transportation in cities from different interdisciplinary perspectives, economics, psychology, computer science, statistics, and math. For her Keystone project, this student, Geneva Baristo, developed an optimal pricing formula to maximize both ridership and revenue, taking into account different to uh, topics that she had learned throughout her four-year degree. And her proposal of her home city of Vancouver moving from a zone boundary system, an extremely discriminatory system that discriminated against seniors and low-income uh, people in particular, Vancouver has decided to move to a distance-based system. And this 21-year-old's optimal pricing formula is the one that they are going to actually implement to be able to help the citizens of Vancouver move to a f more fair, fair system. And, and so this is why it's so easy to be an ambassador of this school, because our students are getting into grad schools, they're getting these amazing jobs. We're seeing people's lives being changed. And uh, like, for me, that's just so, so worthwhile.